Jesse, are you ready for some uh, transatlantic juicy bits? It's cold. The fog is, is descending from the volcano. I'm ready. Cool. Juicy bits. Canadian politics is boring juicy bits. Canadian politics is boring juicy bits. Jesse, you're in Italy. Um, I'm in Hal- I so, I'm in lovely Halifax. You're in uh, cold Italy. Lovely Halifax. Yeah, volcano land. So <laughs> I wanted to talk to you. You know, um, everyone right. everyone goes on a health kick after Christmas. Did you go on a health kick after Christmas? Uh, no. No, I didn't. I amped it up. I, uh, uh, more pizza, more pasta. Oh, you accelerated the downward spiral instead of trying to crawl out of it. Exactly. Good for yeah. you. Good for you. Anyway, Thanks. I want to talk Nobody to you. Likes so, Twitter. I want to tell you about um, uh, a lady uh, who okay. um, from Abbotsford called Parnit, All right. who um, decided that she wanted to sign up to go to the gym in canada okay. uh, in abbotsford um and abbots where's abbotsford again abbotsford is it abbotsford is so in ontario oh my, or alberta oh my god abbotsford bc 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 newfoundland bc bc just keep <laughs> okay. naming provinces i was just gonna keep na- i was gonna name all the provinces yeah. the wheel of fortune <laughs> bc so so um so pani is is uh is a woman but she likes to wear kind of like uh unisex clothes like baggy men's style clothes t-shirts hats that's just a style that's just a jam like um, Love it. i don't blame her they're comfy um and if yep. that's if that's what she feels comfortable in her skin that's great but she went to the gym on january the 15th <laughs> and a woman oh, was staring at her while she was on the treadmill um and then stood right by her treadmill um and was okay. just would not leave her alone um, and then started filming, like somebody started filming. I can't remember which one of them it was. I'll, I'll put the article in in the link. Um, but it was a, it was the women's only section of the gym. Um, and the woman said to her, "You are a man, and you need to get out of here. You don't belong." Um, and she was really stunned that a grown woman was like, she was already so, so self conscious and had a little bit of social anxiety. Um, right. And the woman basically refused to acknowledge, refused to believe that she was. Uh, a woman and that she, she was in the woman's section and was basically accusing her of being um uh someone who was like in disguise or transitioning or just yeah she said uh you know the woman said to her i want to be here because i want to be with women i don't want to see ugly men is what she said to her <laughs> okay now and, wow and she, and she said like she presents maybe in like a slightly masculine way because of her clothes but the woman was basically then berating her uh and she wouldn't believe me when she said i wasn't a man apparently uh and the police got involved uh without any follow-up and a video was posted online um and i just thought it was it was interesting to talk about because this is there was another article that i saw in the summer and this was about oh. a nine-year-old girl who was uh participating in a track and field event um okay. in again in british columbia and someone in the crowd a man decided that that nine-year-old girl had to be trans and started verbally berating the girl at the track and field event and called her mother uh, a genital mutilator um Jesus. just because the girl maybe had slightly more masculine kind of appearance or traits which i mean everyone people come in all shapes and sizes some men are more feminine appearance and some women are more masculine that kind of thing and for some mm-hmm. someone who's emboldened enough to go that's a trans kid they shouldn't be competing in this event and basically laid into <laughs> laid into them and abused them uh, openly laid into the kid laid into the, the kid, kid and themselves. the parents oh my god i i have a i anyone who who's I have some advice for anyone who might be going through this. And it sounds counterintuitive, but I've done it myself. Um, these are trolls. These are just in life, in reality trolls, right? I like, there's an old saying, if you grew up in the 90s when the internet first became a thing and we learned about chat rooms, etc. don't feed the trolls. No. Just don't feed them anything. Literally any response is fuel to these trolls. They love it. They want a reaction. They crave it. These are these are in-person trolls, and you can do one of two things. One, you can just completely ignore them until they get bored of t- essentially talking to a blank wall and then go away. Um, 
Or you can do my favorite thing, which is your only, and I mean it has to be your only reaction, which is to laugh. No yes. matter what they say, no matter what they do, you laugh at them, at them. Just laugh, and they'll, they'll amp it up, and they'll call you names, and they'll video cape, and you just keep laughing. And that's yeah. literally, for as long as you can keep it up, your only reaction, trust me, they'll get bored. Well, I, and they'll I, go in, they'll try to find somebody else. But but it got so bad that the, the people screaming at this event were basically saying, they were calling them pedophiles and groomers, and they demanded that they saw a birth certificate and wanted to stop the event until they could examine the child. And then the, the family had to be escorted to the car so yeah, they felt safe enough picture, to leave. And it was horrible that that's to a nine-year-old girl. That is awful, true. But if that, like you're an adult, you can handle yourself. Just picture them saying... Those same words, and all, and everybody's either ignoring them or laughing at them, and that's it. No <laughs> one's re reacting. Just no one's responding it. with a logical argument. Uh, no one's trying to like co coerce them or <laughs> or like exactly. argue with them at all. Just either straight up ignoring, like I want this, I want this event shut down right now, and no one says a word, yeah. or everyone laughs. Like, <laughs> you but, know, like I, I, <laughs> people complain that political correctness is a like a chokehold like it's oppressive and that it's kind of like stopping them express their feeling and they, like the whole thing of wokeness is like oh you're not allowed to tell to you know express your own opinions on things and everything and it's it's not that's kind of like a slight projection of what that whole thing is it's basically right. don't be a cow uh -huh. That's just, <laughs> it's exactly what uh, it is, and this is a perfect yeah. example of where someone has... and people are getting upset at wokeness, or are getting upset at the like you're saying I can't be a cop. Yeah. What's wrong with what? The exactly. Fuck? I why, why can't yeah. I make children cry at a fun <laughs> sports event? That's my right. <laughs> why can't I ruin the day for everyone and traumatize a child? Why can't I make a woman feel bad about herself when she's just trying to work out after Christmas? Like that should be my right. I think they don't understand. I want to start your free their freedom to be a cunt uh -huh. doesn't necessarily. <laughs> Does it mean that they right. that, that, that's that's not okay? <laughs> like that's, I, I, that's my I literally thing. wanted to start I literally wanted to start a YouTube or Instagram or TikTok channel where where all I do every you know those videos where someone's like, hey, stop scrolling. Let's just breathe in and breathe out for a second. Okay, on with your day. And like they're they're nice, they're calming sort of thing. But it's just kind of like a singular sort of concept. And like they'll have a hundred videos where they just take you to breathe in and breathe out, and it's nice in the interruption of your 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 feed to just kind of take a moment and breathe. I wanted to have something similar where I have one concept, and like every single video is the exact same thing, constantly over and over and over again. Where like I just the, the whole concept is like there are online trolls. We've forgotten about the concept of don't feed the trolls. Just just stop feeding them. But like if you want to take it one step further, if anyone is is being a troll and they're easy to recognize, I want universally everyone to take a deep breath in and type out, go fuck yourself. But that's it. Nothing else. Just on repeat over and over and over again. No matter what they say, no matter what they come back with. Hundreds of people <laughs> saying go fuck yourself. <laughs> anyway, so so if you're angry if you're angry at the world, if you're angry at the world and you're angry at the confusing uh, myriad of of uh, uh, different kinds of uh, ways that people identify these days. Before you start attacking someone based on a on a hunch um, and humiliating them and yourself in a public arena, just 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 take a deep breath and and go yeah, and go <laughs> yeah go tell you and go. Am I just being a kid? Uh -huh. And then. <laughs> And then you go, do you know what? Today I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Maybe I don't need to do it this time. Maybe I don't need to make people feel. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to do a juicy Asking bits on it. Because it, it seems like a worrying trend where people are so hopped up on this that anyone who doesn't fit a very kind of Barbie Ken gender norm in terms of how they appear. Yep. Exactly. Just maybe, just maybe shut your face and get on with your own life. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right? Just because you have an opinion doesn't mean we need to hear it. Exactly. Exactly. I, I remember I had a friend once who uh, had grown his hair long and he, he had this whole new look. And But I was just like, cool look. And I, I didn't I didn't kind of, you know, just go, you look you a bit You didn't stop the parade. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't you know, I didn't, I didn't stand up and point a finger and go, everyone, look at this. I need to, where's your birth certificate? I need to inspect your genitals. <laughs> the only reason that's funny is because of your accent, man. Well, okay, I need to inspect it. <laughs> <laughs> only works in a British accent. Any other accent, yeah, you can't exactly. get away with it. <laughs> so.
<laughs> anyway, but, but was, yeah. Anyway, so um, and uh, yeah. I mean, there's so many problematic things there to pull apart, and we're probably not the the uh, the most informed people to do it. But I still just think is people. It's I, th- I think the the c word is the only word to describe. Obviously, it. we're not the most informed people to do it. Jesus, <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Come on, we've been told that countless times. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But anyway, um, so that was it. It was a very long, juicy bit. It was, but it was, it was, uh, uh. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was definitely good. So, Jesse, I'm going to let you go back to Italy. What are you going to do for the rest okay. of the day? Uh, either drink wine or climb a volcano that is very, very cold and misty. I might do that tomorrow morning, actually. You should do a TikTok so, about how you can't don't have a hangover in Europe. <laughs> no, I'm never downloading TikTok, ever. Fuck that. I'm done. Or do, will you do a video diary of getting, was drunk, my space of getting drunk and then showing me the video and then waking up the next day and going, I don't have a hangover. With a, with an Italian accent, yeah, sure. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> great, great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye, Race. Bye, Bye everybody. Canadian politics is boring, juicy bits.